So I'm pleased to announce what is our next phase of our sewer rehabilitation on our major interceptor that runs along 15 Mile Road. And as all of you are probably well aware, we've had a lot of work that we've done on the interceptor from essentially on 15 Mile, essentially from Garfield running up to the ITC corridor up in Sterling Heights. We have spent a ton of money, a lot, tens of millions of dollars of rehabilitating that uh, sewer interceptor so that we never have another sinkhole. And now, essentially complete with that, we're now looking at the 15 mile road interceptor from Garfield as it runs east, so toward Grosbeck, uh, and Kelly in that. And uh, what is going to happen here though, will be much easier on the motoring public, on the public in general, uh, because we're using a sort of a high tech, revolutionary type of product which we call spiral wound. It's hard to say, spiral wound. We have used this product in another uh, stretch of our interceptor down at 21 mile in, in Garfield, actually. Uh, we used it there and it, we won some awards with it. It's, it's very cool technology. I say it looks sort of like a slinky, but you put this uh, material, this product down into a manhole and, uh, and then as it uh, wraps itself around the sewer, uh, around the pipe, then they put it in place, of course, and then they grout it. And uh, it has a, uh, a very long life expectancy, uh, similar to the other products that we have been utilizing. This is a smaller pipe, it's 52 inch. So it is, uh, uh, it lends itself to this type of a product. And uh, it, you know, look, we all know underground infrastructure, out of sight, out of mind, but that can't be the correct answer anymore. We have to fix this stuff. It's older infrastructure. We don't want to have another sinkhole or you don't want to have an issue with the sewer, right? So we are fixing everything that we possibly can. We've been able to raise enough money actually from other sources that we haven't had to raise anybody's rates for the projects that we are doing. I'm not saying you're never going to get a water or sewer rate increase, but for the projects that we have been doing, we've been very successful in getting uh, additional uh, resources, financial resources. So that's all to the good. But we do have to fix this underground infrastructure. And the reason that this product uh, is better for the motoring public is we're really only gonna have to close one lane of traffic. Uh, so that's sort of inconvenient. Uh, at the same time, I say, you know, you're welcome <laughs> because we have to fix this stuff. And uh, with the spiral wound, we don't have to dig these huge holes, uh, shafts as, as we call them. If any of you had traveled uh, around 15 mile in Garfield, for example, you saw that we had a very large shaft there uh, for quite a long period of time because we had to put this pipe down the shaft, right down to the uh, interceptor, which is about uh, 40 feet under the surface at that point. Uh, same thing here. So rather than having to do that and build this big shaft, which, you know, we have to close lanes of, of traffic, et cetera, uh, we're gonna be able to put it down the manhole. We still have to close one lane of traffic uh, because of our, uh, our work crew and uh, having the material and all of these kinds of things. You know, sometimes you'll be driving along and you'll say, geez, I hardly even see anybody working there. Believe me, they're working, but they are underground. They're working underground. So there's a, a beehive of activity that's happening uh, where you can't see it. Uh, but, uh, and, and so don't worry about it, right? We're taking care of this and that's really our plan here. But we're very excited to have our next phase start and uh, we keep uh, fixing everything that we possibly can in Macomb County as we are all well aware for many years, a lot of this infrastructure was just let go. It really wasn't inspected properly and therefore it wasn't maintained properly. Uh, and we are trying to do everything that we possibly can to make sure that this stuff is maintained, that we're fixing it, not just for us, but for the next generation as well, which is really what we need to do. So thanks for joining us. And uh, you'll, if you're traveling along 15 mile, uh, you know, in the Kelly area, going up to Grosbeck for the next year, uh, you're gonna be seeing this one lane of traffic that is impacted and that's what's happening here. So this uh, sewer rehabilitation project is a pretty critical one in our system. It consists of 4,400 linear feet of 60 inch concrete reinforced pipe, steel reinforced pipe that is, um, that is severely degraded due to hydrogen sulfide and other elements that are in the sanitary sewer. So uh, we started off this project with a full cleaning and CCTV to do a structural analysis of the pipe. 
And now we're coming in and doing a, the lining project with a really innovative product uh, that we refer to as the spiral wound product. It is a, uh, a thin strip that comes on rolls. In fact, I have a piece of it right here. Uh, it's pretty innovative in that we can, we can install this through existing manholes. So it comes on big spools. You'll see some of them on 15 Mile Road as we're starting this lining project this week. And they just pull it down into the manhole. And with a relatively simple apparatus, it builds this pipe right inside of our existing pipe. And what we're doing is uh, creating a new pipe, a new 54 inch pipe within, within the existing 60 inch pipe. This is a very hard plastic rubber gasketed with a steel band reinforcement that locks together and creates a very solid structure. And then once we're done with the actual constructing of the pipe, we will fill the annular space with a cementitious grout. And essentially we have a brand new pipe that is plastic and highly resistant to gases such as hydrogen sulfide that have really ruined our concrete pipes over the years. The other nice thing about this product, being able to work through the existing manholes, is we don't have to have major disruptions to the local traffic and or businesses building large access shafts where we've previously had to lower in prefabricated pipe. The pre There's nothing wrong with the prefabricated pipes. They work great. They last for a very long time, generations likely, but they require these large 40 and 50 foot diameter shafts as we call them that usually results in us impacting roadways for extended periods of time. You'll notice with this project that the impact to the public is very minimal. We're only working out of two manhole locations at a time, so we're keeping the traffic uh, control down to a, a, a limited basis. Right now, we're working in the eastern extent of this project, just uh, right about Grossbeck, where the railroad tracks are, and we'll continue to work west along 15 Mile Road. So during this time, you know, just please be careful, observe our work. We're grateful for all the support and the patience from the from the local businesses and the, and the residents in the area, and uh, another successful project is underway. It's been very challenging to make sure that we take care of all the underground infrastructure. The underground infrastructure is a little bit out of sight, out of mind, but it's very important and very critical to take care of because as we get stronger rain events, we get more flow through our combined sores. The combined is where the storm sores are combined with the sanitary sores and all the storm water just floods over and we don't want that combined sewerage going out into Lake St. Clair, going into the Clinton River or Red Run Drain and out into the lake because we want to keep our lakes very clean so we can swim in them, boat in them and use them for recreation. Also fishing is very important in there too. Very pleased to be part of the structure, uh, be part of the organization that's implementing this cleanup and uh, modifications on 15 Mile Road here. And so glad that it's done and we can get 15 Mile restored to its full lane usage. Thank you very much. Follow us on social media. For more information, explore our website, reach out via email, or connect through our toll-free hotline, 1-877-679-4337.